Rico, great to see you again. It is our fourth interview. So I think in terms of catch-ups, I don't remember if I've done a fourth with anyone else. So potentially you're the first fourth interview I've done. But it just shows how much progress people make through the real world. Yeah. And on that note, as much as you remember from our previous interview, what was your situation back then? And then how has it changed since? I mean, it's been crazy. I think we did it at the start of 2024. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, yeah. it was start of January. Yeah, January was low key. That was that was a great month. I hit a goal that I, I didn't think was possible, which was like around almost 5k signing in deals, and I made around like three, four, just like in actual my bank account. Mm -hmm. And I was, I, I switched my focus kind of because I was mainly focusing on getting all oh, money in, money in, money in. But I was like, okay, I just lost my main site, which was building up my personal brand. And then like after January, after that meeting, I was like, all right, let me switch it. So then. You can see it right there. You guys probably know the rest. Uh, I grinded my personal brand, hit it 100k, and it was just crazy. It was like I don't want to say emotional. I don't want to sound like like a like a b word, but it, it was like, bro, dream come true, dreams are reality. Yeah. Um, okay. So explain a bit more. Building personal brand. Congratulations on achieving 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. I know that's the goal of so many people who yeah. start and just end up giving up. So you um, you grinded through it. Don't know how else to say, and I'm sure it's because of the consistency and the dedication that you got it. Yeah. So yeah, uh, what? How did actually the real world? How did it help you with building that personal brand? Was it related? It was. I like to attribute literally almost everything to TRW, all my success, because TRW isn't just about money. TRW is about mindset. And if I didn't have the mindset that was taught inside TRW, then I don't. Pro I probably would have been like just far behind because I was on this path even before joining TRW. But since joining TRW, it's just, what's the word? It's it's fast forwarded. It's fast forwarded my success. Me getting like, be able to get this plaque, me able to get all this money and not being able to go to college as a result of it. So I like, the main thing is mindset. That's literally it. That's literally what's stopping so many people is just their mind, your own mind. And once people unlock that, and I'm still unlocking it myself, it's just sky's the limit. And in a way, it is a lifetime journey. Mm. Uh, developing your mind and mm. improving yourself as a person but again you've come so far so far you've come so far so far <laughs> all right um and i remember during last interview you said yeah you were focusing on actually getting percentages of the clients you were working with so focusing mm. on revenue yeah how has that been going it's been going pretty decent this month i actually hit my highest monetary just with youtube and just UGC and clients and stuff like that. But I realized, I'm like, why am I going to build up other people's personal brands, which is essentially what I was doing when I could build up my own. That's when I was like, all right, bro, like F everything. I'm just focusing all in, going all in on my own brand because like I'm the most important in my life, obviously, because if you're not doing it for yourself, nobody else is going to do it for you. So I was like, I don't really want to build up all these people's brands and only get like a little sliver when I could build up my own and just endless possibilities. Completely makes sense. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now you're getting money through monetization then mainly instead mm -hmm. of through clients. Yeah. Oh. And you said highest month. Are you comfortable revealing what you've earned then this month through yeah. monetization? I made, I made $10,000 this month, which is crazy. Damn. Yeah. I even got, <laughs> I got the, the real cash. Deposited <laughs> out the bank, bro. This is the most cash I've ever had in my hand. Like, I want you guys to guess how much it is. But yeah. That's it. So yeah, congratulations. Very happy to hear that for you. Appreciate it, G. Um, okay, so that was for monetization. Mm -hmm. uh, where, what state was your personal brand in back in January then? Like how many subscribers did you have? How much were you actually doing for it? I would like to shout out the content creation professor. Because he made me realize, like, bruv, you had this fan base, but you just let it not die, just stagnate. Because it was there. It was always there. It was just stagnant. I wasn't really putting my, like, full focus into it because I was like, oh, get the money in, get the money in the UGC, get the money in. I was trying to hit that 10K just strictly off UGC. And I was like, okay, whoa. Because I was just, what's the word? I was just putting my, like, my main my main thing was the personal brand. I was putting it off to the side, which was like, I shouldn't have done that. Because, like, I hit the 100K, I probably would hit it way sooner. And... My honest is there. They're always, they always were there. It's just reviving them. And that's what I'm doing right now. Just continue posting. And then 
just continue grinding because my my main personal manager's mindset side hustles and make money okay fair enough and again i know i asked this last time but how do your parents react to this you've reached ten thousand in one month yeah as an 18 year old uh, i believe you're no longer going to college right so are they happy with your decision not to do so Results speak louder than words. Actions speak louder than words as well. If my parents just saw me all laying down all day, just going to TikTok, watching TV, watching Netflix, they would have been like, nah, bro, you're going to college. Get out of here. And they were pushing me for me to go to college, but they seen while I was still in high school, every day coming after practice, either golf or football, editing, working on videos, posting, grinding. I wasn't playing video games anymore. I wasn't doing anything like just degenerate stuff. I didn't go to parties. I didn't do drugs, drink, anything like that, that maybe my other teen comrades are doing i was in literally in my room on my computer that kept crashing on cap cut started for free started from the bottom and just continued working my way up and they saw me grinding they saw me hustling they saw the results bro they saw the money in they saw the money in like that's that speaks louder than words like i showed my mom my bank account one day and she was like what you have that much and i was like yeah i'm like this is just the beginning now it's doubled that so i'm like all right now it's just gonna triple 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 so results speak louder than words. I didn't even sign up for college. They were they're literally not going to let me graduate because I didn't sign up for college, which didn't make sense. But my mom ended up signing a paper and she still pushes me to college. But now it's like a little joke. She's like, you're going to college. I'm like, I just laugh. And then she she doesn't really say much after. And then once I got the plaque, she, she, she even wants to start her own YouTube channel. She even wants to like <laughs> just push herself to be better because she sees me doing that. So I'm setting the example and I like that. And I want to set the example for even more people. Yeah. That's the goal, being an inspiration to other people yeah. and seeing the results from that. Again, very beautiful to have. Mm. And I'm sure doing those UGC videos and working with those clients helped you build up a confidence in front of a camera, which then translated to the success of your YouTube channel now. So it's not like it was a waste of time in that way either. Like yeah. it's still a transferable skill set. So it's yeah. still useful. Yeah. And then even in high school, we had like this live news system where every day we do like a, a news broadcast. And I've always wanted to be a part of it. And then my senior year, I was able to get that opportunity and I took it. I made full of it. I was like, always, I was trying to, always try to give it my best. And I did. And I look enjoy high school, but am I glad it's over? Yes. Do I miss it? Not really. I'm progressing even further now. Fair enough. And uh, what advice would you give to people then who are starting their own personal brands? Like, what would you tell your mom for how to actually um, grow on YouTube and what to do? Just start. I mean, I'm, t I'm trying to tell my tias, I'm trying to tell my, my deals, I'm trying to tell my dad, my mom, my brothers, like everybody. And just start, just keep at it, don't give up. And that's that's literally it. I know it's basic, I know it's, but it's just, so many people are afraid to start, but once you actually start something, then you can't quit. What are you gonna do, just quit, let it die? I like this quote from The Rock, it's either one day or day one. Make it day one today. Yeah. And you will improve over time because you can't get everything perfect before you begin. Like the whole uh, getting things perfect actually comes from doing it and then optimizing things uh, yeah. every single day or every week, looking back on it, seeing what you can yeah. improve on. And then eventually you'll see all the progress you've made. Yeah. And that ties back so, to TRW, why people should get in TRW because of the mindset. Me, something that I struggled with even in school was procrastination and perfectionism. I was like, oh, I was always like, just trying to put things on hold, delay, because it wasn't perfect in my eyes, but literally just put it out there. Let reality be the best teacher because reality will teach you so many lessons and reality is what we live in. Yep. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. and uh, what else do you use the real world for in this case? Or was it mainly just mindset and community at this point? The biggest thing that TRW has to offer is the community. The community is like great. I get to talk to like-minded people because there's not really that many people around me that have the same mindset, have the same vision. If there are, then it's just, it's not really the same as TRW. Like I have G's in there that's probably like my best friends inside the real world because they have the same mindset, they're on the same path and we're just continue progressing like as each other. We even say, I was one buddy, his name's Luke. We're like, bruh, first one to hit 10K and we hit 10K. And they're like, all right, first one to hit a mil. And it's just like competing. It's a friendly competition. It's not like, oh, like F you Luke, I'm gonna be better than you. you try, like, no, 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 it's friendly competition. And that's what strives you that's what makes you to be better. All right. So again, on that note, what is your purpose currently then? That's a deep question. 
I guess my purpose is just to continue getting in the money and just continue being an inspiration for others. That's really what I want to do. I wanted to become a doctor because I just want, I like helping people. I wanted to help people. I wanted to give people clarity. I wanted to push people along the right path because especially in my community and like Mexican community, so many people take the wrong path and it just, I see their lives at the end of it. I'm like, bro, you didn't have to do that. You could have been so much more. You could have done so much better. And that's another thing that people need to realize is learn from other people's mistakes. Don't, like just do, oh, I want to do this. I want to do that. No, no, no. Look at where their life ended up and learn from that. That's one thing that I've always done. And that's one thing that I'm trying to like tell others, learn from other people's mistakes. Look at their life. Is that where you want to end up? Is that what you want to be? And that's something I didn't want to do. And I want to give salute to my mother because she literally kept me out the street. She always kept me busy, always doing crafts and stuff like that. And I, I don't think I would have took that path, but she's probably the one that like implemented this mindset into my mind. And I mean, look, I'm out the streets, I'm hustling, I'm building up a personal brand and results are paying off. All right. And where do you see your future heading then for the short term, medium term, long term since you're on this path? Short term, like just in a few months till summer, just continue grinding, continue put, putting out content and then making a pivot in my personal brand because my personal brand main focus is just selling snacks at school. And yeah, that's cool. And I still love it and I still advocate for that better than like any minimum wage job but i'm out of school so like i can't just be oh sticking on that one thing i'm gonna help as many people as i can because i believe that that's way better it teaches so many different life skills than just working at mcdonald's paying for a check trading your time for money so just continue that and then just do a pivot so in the short term just continue stacking it and building up myself and building up my personal brand cool i know i have a question i guess you could consider it deep potentially uh i've worked with quite a few people who have big followings on social media mm. but um until a certain point it is just a number on the screen so how do you you humanify no i don't know that's not what but maybe you know what i'm getting at yeah get how do you see those numbers as like other humans that's kind of hard because I really don't. But one thing that I do, and people even comment on it, they're like, bro, this dude's responding to every single comment. I literally go on my phone on the YouTube studio app. I literally just spend like hours even just replying to every single comment. Like you guys can see all the comments I get. I, I reply, to, I try to reply to every single one. And I can't, if I, if I want to take like a conversation further in the comments, I tell them, oh, DM me on Instagram. And then I help them. I'm not trying to tell them nothing. I just actually genuinely want to help them. And I have so many, like, I guess kids like, bro, thank you. Thank you. Helping me make 400 bucks a week, 400 bucks a month. Like, it's just, they're like, thank you. So I guess that's a way of human, humanifying it. But yeah, I don't have what, but yeah. Yeah. Another thing is, I mean, when I hit on the K, I was like, bro, I was looking going crazy. But till I got this plaque. I didn't believe it till it was real. Same thing with the money. I just, it's literally just digits on the screen. I took screenshots of every time, like I went to 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 and up, it, it's digits on the screen. And that's why I pulled this out. Cause like I had to see it just to believe it. Like when I first pulled it out, I was going crazy. I was like, bro, what? Like I was so excited. I even left my card in the ATM and I had to cancel my card, bro. <laughs> Cause I was, I was so focused on the money. But I know, I know. That was lucky a slip up, but we moved. Mm -hmm. And uh -huh. That's how I do it. I like to actually connect with people and see it like mm -hmm. in reality. Yeah. And over time it becomes more and more real because eventually people will start approaching you out of nowhere and saying, yeah. Oh, you're Rico, right? Yeah. Or whatever your and, YouTube name is. And then like at that point, and when people come up to you and even say positive things to you in real life, then mm -hmm. it's like real, real. Yeah. That that's yeah. sort of happening now. I've had a few people take pictures of me and like, oh Rico, especially at my local boxing gym. And they're like, oh, Rico, or they call me the chip plug or a snack man, or you're the dude that sells snacks. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I want to be known for more than that. That's why I'm going to make that pivot and just see where it goes. Fair enough. All right. Love that. Um, let me see. Is there anything else? So in terms of, again, going back to the real world, you mentioned mindset, community from it. Are there actual any lessons you're still going through or are you no longer using it for that purpose anymore? Have you gone for everything basically? I forgot how the quote goes, but the something that the professor inside the consecration campus says, the way you learn like the best is by teaching others. And I believe that's totally true because I'm a captain inside the consecration plus AI that talk to camera specifically because 
I'm pretty decent at talking in general, but talking to a camera at my age. And I'm helping others, giving them feedback, helping them to improve and literally all of that. So I guess in, in a sense, that's my new, that's my new mountain to climb. Besides like everything else I'm doing, but like just to develop myself like further is helping others, making sure they succeed. And I mean, I like it. It's G because I helped the one G that I was talking about, Luke Rawl. I helped him and he he succeeded me. I was like, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm looking. I'm not salty, but I'm like, bro, I can't I can't let that slide. I gotta be him. Not in like a bad way, just like a, a competitive way. Right. Like, can't can't beat the master, but it's just a little joke we have, and it's all mm -hmm. friendly competition. So the best way to learn is to teach and continue developing yourself. Don't ever be stagnant. All right. Okay. I think that's a good note to wrap up on. So final question. Mm -hmm. I, I'm pretty sure I've asked pretty much at every interview at this point. Yeah. For people who are unsure about joining the real world because they're thinking it could be a scam for the $50, what advice would you have to those people? It's either one day or day one. Make it day one and just continue to start it. Join TRW, lock in, follow the courses, continue just doing it. Just do it. That's all you have to do is just do it. Action. And you'll be surprised how far you go. I mean, I'm a testament. Look, I was... I was 16 in high school and now I'm out of college. I'm not, I didn't even go to college stacks. This is probably you guys is, I don't even know count how much this is, but hundred grand on YouTube, everything physically, mentally relationships, all of that is just going up because of TRW. So if you haven't, then give it a try because I've made over 30,000 in TRW since I've joined. So I'm Beautiful. Here. Do you ever look back on the previous interviews? I do here and there, not as much as I need to, because I'm just, I should take more time, but I see the progress. I see everything. And like, I mean, I was going to say this earlier, but it just, it passed. Like, look at me now. Like, look how comfortable I am. Look how just, I guess, what's the word? Accomplished confidence. I don't know. And I mean, you could just see the progress. You can watch my first one and then watch this one and you'll just see the comparison. Exactly. And uh, as time continues to go by, it will be as you continue to improve as a person because of everything you're doing, you're growing at an exponential rate. So imagine in five years, looking back on the first video and even on the person you are now, how much different you would have been and how much more you would have achieved yeah. and, and done um, in that time. So it's just a, a great testament yeah. to have as uh, to document your journey. Mm. Yeah. And that's yeah. another thing with the personal brand, because like I get to see, oh, look at Rico when he was 16 in high school, when I'm like 25 or something. And then mm -hmm. this also ties back to mindset of TRW, because there's going to be ups and downs. Like that's just part of the journey. And if you don't have that mindset when you're in like a down or a slump, you're not going to be able to get back up. I mean, I was down like last month. I hit, I didn't hit, hit like 3K, just under 3K. And I was like, damn, because my previous month I hit like four, five. But it's just like this month I hit 10. Like, look at it. Who knows? So it literally just comes back to mindset. There's going to be ups and downs and just, you have to push forward. And that's where TRW comes in with the mindset. Mm -hmm. okay. So yeah, happy to finish up there. So if people want to find out more about you or contact you, where can they do so? I mean, you can see it on the plaque, Rico Ricks on everything. Rico, it was great speaking to you again and hearing the progress you've made and everything you're doing. You as well. So, Let's do another follow up in Same. another few months. And Same. if you're Same. if you're at ten K now, then yeah, imagine in three, four months. I mean if you continue on this trajectory, who knows where you'll be, huh? Yeah, who knows? I mean I'm not I'm not looking for the shorts, I'm looking for the longevity. So just of continue stacking it, stacking it, stacking it, and we'll see where, where, where I end up. Beautiful. All right. So all the best to you, Rico, and until next time. Appreciate your time, Ruckus.